Namaste from Deepesh. Today we are entering volume 3 of my YouTube series Power of Copilot in the 365 and Power Platform. Today we are going to talk about something on the Dynamics 365 side of the house and the CE side. We are going to look at use cases for Copilot in D365 sales. Hi everybody, I am Deepesh Somani, Business Applications MVP Alumni, MCT, co-founder and author. Watch the 60 as usual. Let's quickly get into action. So here we have D365 sales have opened up, right? On this uh, right hand side you will notice that we have two copilot tabs available one is for sales and other is for copilot so i'm just going to look at sales copilot in this particular video so once you click this you're going to get something like that on your first time load which is like uh, do you want some uh, you want to start over on the copilot so once you say get started you will get something like this now it will give you a bunch of suggestions you're going to come to that one by one but let's but, uh, first understand what are the different options available to us. All right, so let us try different options that are available in the sales copilot to us. So I'm going to start with uh, catch up on an opportunity. You have catch up on lead, you have summarize lead, summarize opportunity. So I have different data already from the depopulated data. I'll just start with some summarization of an opportunity. Now, which opportunity I have? There is a lot of sample data, but I have one called as B O and then once you type it in, it's gonna search search for the particular opportunity. So I want I have one called dollar limited over here. And if I click on summarize this opportunity, what the copilot is going to do is it's going to give me the summary action point. So this deal is in developed stage. Let's say I want to have further detail of this particular opportunity. What I can do is I want to catch up on this particular opportunity. And then again, I can give the name and it will give some intelligence and try to locate the particular opportunity. This will give me further detail of this particular opportunity. Like I can see what, what happened where. So here's a quick catch up. Uh, where was the pipeline? Confirm interest was updated. What order type? What 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 are, what are the details? And you can click on no more from audit history, which will take you directly to the audit history of that particular record where you can see more detailed uh, uh, details. So this is great, right? Now, if I wanted to do a preparation for my today's meetings, I can click on that. For some reason, this one doesn't uh, work for my data. And while I was creating this particular demo, so if I click this, it's not gonna help for some particular reasons. And this is a trial; it might happen. But let's say similar thing I wanted to do on other areas, like I wanted to get news on a particular account. So I'm gonna use Adventure Works as an example. A lot of Adventure Works sample data is available. While quickly going into a sales meeting, I can do that, and a lot of latest news on this account is available from Bing. You can just directly click the link and open the relevant one. So it's quite useful for those last minute scenarios as well. And the summary meeting one does give you the summary of your meeting coming up in 24 hours. You can also go and check the uh, what you did since last login. That is one particular suggested request as well. The other options are available for lead and catch up on lead, which, are we, which we are going to look on next. Next, we're going to look at summarization of a lead. So I'm just going to look for one lead named Elden. Vanguard, which is one of the sample data available to me. So let's summarize this particular lead and let's see what happens. Now, this is going to summarize the lead info and what is the lead summary? It was added when it is interested in a particular thing and can prefer to be contacted using what? So this is a useful information and I want to do a more catch up on this lead. Same thing what I did with the opportunity I can do with the lead as well. So I will type it in and it will give me intelligence to get the particular lead in and I can get more relevant information. If I wanted, I can do no more on audit history and it will uh, directly move me to the audit history of that particular record, which is great to quickly go in and do those scenarios. So I hope this summary was useful to you and you'll start utilizing it in your sales module. Yeah, I'm not gone yet. So I wanted to do use this uh, last section to thank you all for following me. Now, you have been learning with me. I've been learning with you for quite some time now. So if you are really interested in using me and my team's expertise on anything Dynamics 365 and Power Platform, all I'm saying is to drop, go on my LinkedIn and drop me a message and we can connect from there. It can be any kind of arrangement, engagement. I'll be really happy to help. And those examples will help me serve you better by giving you more relevant examples in, in my upcoming work that I do or upcoming community work that I share. Thank you. Bye-bye.